point of the rally is to, number one, protect this statue because this statue is one of many statues that are in honor of the history of Western civilization and European peoples that are being torn down. Blood and soil! Blood and soil! Blood and soil! The policies that liberals have put in place, although they may have been put in place with good intentions, are effectively ethnically cleansing white people from the face of the earth. One of the ethnicities that's most in danger is the southern white people. I don't think that people should be treated unfairly because of their race or any other characteristic. I just feel like this country and its demographics should remain the same as they have been for the majority of their history, but there seems to be this problem with the social justice people where they have a distinct hatred for white people. Some might say they're, they're pushing for equality. No, I would not say that they're pushing for equal rights. I think that they have long since passed the point where they have uh, been going for anything uh, approximating equality. They're looking for special treatment for these groups. At this point, they want to have institutionalized discrimination against white people. They refuse to accept that there are genetic differences between different races of people. So there are reasons why, for instance, um, Asians, Jews, and white people are uh, people who have high test scores and are able to compete in a university environment. I do think that the country should be 80 to 85 percent white because that was the traditional demographic of the country. It was white people who founded this country and it is our uh, race which is in danger of being eradicated due to these immigration policies. Women's best role in life is to be mothers and to be wives. In your view, I shouldn't be working. I shouldn't be talking to you in this. No, I didn't in this say professional that. Professional setting. No, I didn't say that people should be banned from having professions. But I think that culturally, we should put an emphasis on uh, having uh, women as wives and mothers. Are you worried about violence erupting on Saturday? No. <laughs> My role as a pastor, a grassroots organizer, a father, is to call on people to stand up in the face of evil and stand up for what is good. I, as part of the team, that put out a call for 1,000 clergy and faith leaders to join us in body and spirit. And we're just one piece of the movement of uh, community members that are coming to Charlottesville. Next year, you're not moving fast enough. Let's go, guys. Keep it up. Let's go.
it's pretty amazing. There was this incredible interfaith service here at the Episcopal Church in Charlottesville, and now just across yes. the road is hundreds of alt-right people carrying torches, and no one really knows where they're going, whether they're coming in this direction. A lot of people are sort of locked down in the church. It's so bizarre, it's like uh, the civil rights era all over again. Can you see the lights? How do you feel good about yourself, just fucking standing there like that, by yourself? Because I'm broadcasting this to all my friends and showing them how sad and pathetic you are. White Where'd pride! Go? White pride! There's nothing wrong with being proud of who you are. Our country has been usurped by a foreign tribe called the Jews. We're are you in charge here? We're going to stop it. The blacks are the blacks. organization and uh, our membership represents this. No! 
Can you talk about why you wanted to be here? Are you with the press? Yeah. No, no comment. Why? Excuse me. Step aside. I don't have to step aside. I can stand wherever I want. Don't tell me to step aside. Anti-fascista! 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 On me. Look at me, my brand new shirt. Would you consider yourself a neo-Nazi? Uh, I would not. I'd consider myself a white nationalist, and I would consider myself a member of the alt-right. And what does that mean to you? White nationalist. I want a homeland for white people, and I think every race should have a homeland for their own race. So, do you agree that uh, with the guy who organizes organizes Jason Kessler that America should be 80 to 85 percent white? Yes. And and why? I think uh, there's a demographic decline going on, not only here, but in Europe, and we need some place that can be a white homeland, or we will be spread out. And how old are you? 18. Do your parents agree with you? No, not at all. My mother is a union teacher, and my father is a blue-collar worker. No, they don't agree with me at all. How do they feel about your being here? My mom and my father both heavily discouraged it. I think all of our parents did, actually. Uh, following your parents' beliefs just because they're older than you and they raised you? It doesn't mean it's, it's, it's not a good idea. You should believe for yourself. You should look into things for yourself and then decide what you are. Where did my family come from? Um, both grandparents on my side of media, grandparents are Italian immigrants. We came together for this, for this rally. So I would say that I might disagree with their optics or their appearance or whatever they have. Eli, um, just declared it an unlawful assembly. I have to go. Okay. You will us. Charlottesville Police Department comes in an hour and a half after our permit started at 10 a.m. and declares an unlawful assembly. And it was a heckler's veto. We, our people, were not being violent. They were being violent to us. And um, from my understanding, our people were tear gassed. After they declared an unlawful assembly, our people left immediately. And they still tear gassed us. The police, the authorities tear gassed? Yeah. That's my understanding. I didn't witness that, but that's what people are telling me. Hey, we're moving. We're gonna try to regroup somewhere. I will tell it to the slaves. Yeah, 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 tell what you saw today here in Charlottesville. I've never seen so much hatred in the eyes of my fellow human beings in my life. We are in very deep trouble. This country is in deep trouble. You've been doing this kind of activism for a long time, and how would you compare this to other moments in history? 
Well, this is a neo-fascist moment. Um, and it's a neo-fascism that is much broadly spread than it was before. I'm against hatred. And so when I hear the anarchist brothers and sisters talk about scum, I don't like that language. But they're responding to a hatred that is so vicious, and they're not, they're not running anything, and they're not tied to anything, you know. That. The goal of one side is, is domination, oppression, and separation. The goal of the other side is more democracy, is acceptance, is tolerance. Right. I don't like the way they're expressing that, because it comes out as hatred. But you have to differentiate between the two sides because of the goals. The goal of one side is oppression. The goal of the other side is freedom. Even though we might not agree with their tactics, you have to differentiate between Absolutely. the two. Go, 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 go. Drive down the ball 60 miles an hour. Hey, what you got? I'm going to fight when she's 12 years old. Taylor, 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 I'm running. Right, 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 gathered it was injuries, one fatality from a vehicle plowing into a crowd, a crowd of people. I'm not sure it ever was about the statue. This is just about reprehensible racism. That's all that it is. This is just the beginning of Heather's legacy. They tried to kill my child to shut her up. Well, guess what? You just magnified her. Let it shine, let it shine.